In this video, we will see how to run Hadoop commands. For this, we're going to use Cloudera Quick Start VM. This image is provided by Cloudera, which is a Hadoop system. We have a manager node and a worker node. In real life, we will have multiple worker nodes. For simplicity, it suggests Quick Start VM. So let's work on this and run some commands. To install this image, you can use either VirtualBox or UTM. VirtualBox can be downloaded from Oracle VirtualBox and then you can download Cloudera Quick Start VM. Once you install the VM, you can run and execute Hadoop commands. So let's get started. First, click terminal. This opens the local terminal on our computer. I can type ls to see all the contents of this folder. Let's create a directory called Hadoop. So we will type mkdir Hadoop ls. You can see we have now a directory called Hadoop on our local system. Let's go to that directory. Now we are inside the Hadoop directory. Next step, we will create a file called hello.txt, which will have some string. So I will use VI editor. So I will type VI. Now this is in command mode. I have to press I to go on insert mode. Next, I will type some text. Well, once my text is there, I will click on escape and then press WQ. This exits and close my file. So we have created now a file called hello.txt. If you see, we have hello.txt. Let's see the contents of the file. So I will write cat This creates a simple file on our local directory. Next step, we will create a folder on our HDFS, Hadoop file system. Let's create a folder called today on our Hadoop file system. So I will write HDFS DFS dash MKDIR slash today. This creates a folder called today in our Hadoop file system. Now we're going to copy our file hello.txt to our today's folder in Hadoop file system. To that, we have to put. So, we will rename the file as data.txt. This command put will take the file from our local directory and put it inside Hadoop's today directory. To check the file is present or not, let's read the contents of the file. I should be seeing hello world. Next, let's create a new folder called input in our Hadoop directory. This will create a new directory called input. It says there is already a folder called input already exists. 
So what I'm going to do first, I will delete the folder. So we're going to now create a folder called input in our Hadoop directory. Next, we will move the file data.txt to our input folder. So I can write hdfs dfs dash cp slash today txt to the folder slash this copies the file data.txt from today folder to the input folder let's read the contents of data.txt from input folder We should be able to see hello world now we should get our contents from hadoop to our local directory because the idea of a hadoop is there send your file to hadoop do the processing once it is done get the information back from hadoop to our computer okay so i want this data.txt file on my local file system so i do ls if you see i have only hello.txt okay so I need to get the file data.txt if everything is okay we should have the data.txt in our local file system okay let's check we see now we have two files data.txt hello.txt let's read the content of data.txt to confirm it has all the details this completes the basic commands how to interact with hadoop how to send files to hadoop how to transfer files between directories in hadoop and how to get my file back from hadoop thank you for watching